All right, what's going on, Veteranship, Team SB, Strictly Business viewers? I'm Nero, and it's been a long time, so we posted a video up here. Um, you know, Thanksgiving weekend, you know, uh, all of us dealing with friends and family. You know, then for some of us, hunting season started. <clears throat> you know, it's just been a real busy week. Real busy week, real busy weekend. And it, it took away from our usual, you know, five to seven uploads per week. So, but we're going to be getting right back on that. Me, uh, being as me the only person that actually uploads to the channel like not no like you know I have other commentators to upload to the channel like their commentators and stuff but I'm the only one that actually physically uploads it like they send me their games and I'm the one who uploads it with me you know, me being gone you know all weekend you know I don't have time for it I really just didn't have time that's the reason for the lack of videos uh, I actually you know I've been hunting all day then I had to go to school and now I'm here you know 8.48 and I've been up since 4 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, So I figured I'd throw out some commentary for you. This is basically uh, survival mode on Nuketown. Team Deathmatch. Uh, really defensive gameplay, which is not usual for me. But in Team Deathmatch, your only objective is to stay alive and to get kills. And on Nuketown, which is a really clusterfuck map, I play very defensively, but I play very smart. And it gives me a really good, big advantage over the other team and I'm not just hiding in the building like everyone else seems to be doing on this map you know I mean Newtown understands the small map people get worried oh I don't want to die but laying down two feet behind your spawn is not the way to play run around play like this is basically all I have to say so uh, so we posted oh about a week ago the first ever Black Ops 200 domination match I'm, and I'm happy with that uh, with this with the sub count we have uh, the view count on that video is pretty high, and uh, there's a lot of new subs, and uh, I just want to say welcome to SB. I'm Nero, you know, I, I started SB, I run SB. Uh, there's a bunch of other commentators that commentate with me on this channel, and we're basically dedicated to bringing you the best content possible and the perfect team play, and to help you become a better person, player, and teammate. So, you know, it's a full package here. Basically, I just want to say, hey, thanks for subscribing, and uh, hopefully I'll leave a good first impression on you guys. <laughs> Forgive my horrible accuracy. Uh, Black Ops is one one terrible thing about Black Ops for me is my accuracy is just god awful. I had to, I've had to up my sensitivity, I've had to down my sensitivity, but right now I think I found a comfort level at seven sensitivity. I think this game, this is an older game by the way. I think that I, uh, I think I was still playing on five maybe. It doesn't look like I'm turning very fast and just like. I was so worried about my accuracy that I overthought it, and that's one thing you guys, if you want to take away anything from this commentary, is just to remember, you know, don't overthink things. In a video game, you don't you don't need to overthink. I mean, I realize it's set in a war environment, you know, you want to play tactically, you want to play stealthy, but if you overthink, people who are overthinking are going to outplay you, because they're not thinking. Okay, if your heart's in it, you're going to do well. And just remember that, basically, you know, you don't need to... Yeah, Alright. Well, if I just killed two guys right there, my chopper got one, I got him, then that gives a 98% probability that they're going to spawn right here. No, no, just play, trust your instincts, just like anything in real life, just trust your instincts. You know, use, uh, you know, there's common knowledge towards what you're doing. You need to, uh, you need to you, you need make an educated guess, basically, of what the enemy is going to be doing and what you are going to be doing. How you can counter it. UAV great way. It takes all the guessing out of it, basically. There's people at Rock Ghost, but UAV you basically use to find out where they're spawning, where they're coming from. Okay? Black Ops, if anything, Black Ops has taught us that we do not need to rely on our radar. We use it for solely you know, checking out where they're spawning. And then the rest of the time you can just keep your eye on the actual map itself, not the mini-map. See, so in Call of Duty 4, World of War, games that where, uh, you know, UAV jammer or camouflage or cold blood, what have you, would uh, take up a second perk when we replace stopping power, so a lot of people didn't really use it, so it wasn't that big of an issue. So games like Call of Duty 4 that have been around for a while, and people are really used to the spawning system, they were able to, you know, basically play the game without actually looking at the map. They could just stare at the mini map and turn corners and play that way, just off of solely the UAV. Guys, you know, with uh, Call of Duty 4 being the classic mode kill streaks with the 3, 4, and the 5. You know, and this kid, you know, he gets headshot at a laggy ass motherfucker, but, uh, just want to let you guys know we're back. You know, we didn't die. We didn't stop. And uh, just to let you guys know, we have another 200-0 no domination match. This time on Radiation. We're going to be posting that. And uh, just want 
just wanted to let you know we're still here. More videos to come. Expect a few more up tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed, and be sure to rate.